going on guys it is me uh the good on youtube i'm back with a video this video is an updated version of the limnono trainer tutorial video now this isn't a tutorial for installing limnono trainer and this is for limnono trainer uh, 2K, NBA 2K20 version. All right. So once you have everything installed, and um, I think you should be able to just go to Google and type in Limnono Trainer NBA 2K20. It should provide you a link. Uh, the reason I'm not providing a link is I've seen the link change several times throughout the year, and uh, I don't want to post the link. And then the link gets updated or outdated. So I'm just going to uh, allow you guys to search for it. That way uh, I don't give you guys the wrong information. All right. So once you have Lunano Trainer installed and then you start your game and you get to the main screen, there's two options. You can press F12 or you can press insert. So I'm going to press insert and Lumnono Trainer uh, shows up. All right. Um, now, if you don't see it show up on your screen, I would try full screen mode. Actually, let me back out of this. There's a couple different things. Let's go to video settings. Um, you can try full screen. That doesn't work. Try full screen windowed. So, um, and then it should be able to pop up and you can, you can move, you can move it around your screen as you need. You can resize it as you need. All right. So I'm actually not going to change my settings. Um, wait, let's go back. Let's, uh, okay. So what we'll do here is we're going to go into create a player. And when you create a player, I need to delete all these players actually. But when you create a player and you come out of the create a player screen, and you see that that player is that created player is showing up. You can actually. I'm going to delete these guys. You can actually use Limnono Trainer at that point. All right. You just highlight over. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right. So to start using Limnono Trainer, you want to click on where it says initializer and that's the very first thing you want to do then you can go down to player list refresh list if nothing happens when you click refresh list try this I press insert to remove the trainer uh, go to create roster and just load up any roster and then once a roster loads Okay, our roster is loaded. Try clicking refresh list again. Okay, as you can see, now it has the roster. All right. So I'm only going to be visiting the basic functions of this tool, um, such as things like unlock game hidden options and unlock in game editor. I'm actually not going to do too much more than that all right so but i will show you there are more options here it says entertainment function initialization so i'll tell you one of them let's say you wanted uh hmm if you don't want your player to go cold like if you click on this you'll have to click this one and then you can also once you click that, you'll leave that selected and then you can click the others. All right. So this one is supposedly 
it's for not allowing your players to go cold. So if you don't want them to go cold, it doesn't make them hot. It just doesn't allow them to go cold. All right. So you would click that and then click that. And then it, that's all you would do. All right. Now, for me, I don't care about those things, but I'll leave it selected for the video. All right. So there's two ways we can look at Ben Simmons in this tool. Since since he's highlighted in the game, in the uh, in this little menu, since he's highlighted and we're hovering over him, we can click Read Current Player, or we can just go and find his name, or you can just type his name, start typing his name, Ben, as, and then but well, multiple versions of him come up, so. I suggest just hovering over him and clicking read player. Usually, I believe it's the top version that is the the basic version of them in the roster. But um, if you just click read current player, then you don't have to worry about getting it wrong. All right, so let's minimize this player list. So when you go to player attributes, we can quickly update his attributes and you can move the limit trainer around as I said before just in case so if I wanted to keep updating uh, update a few things with Ben Simmons let's look just look at his overall he's 80 because he's hurt but um, I mean this allows you to quickly quickly change his ratings and even the durability and health stuff so I didn't even know Ben Simmons was actually hurt in real life now these attributes go all the way up to 110 um, I'm not going to give you any suggestions, but the game is only going to show you up to 99. So he might be a 110, but the game is going to show you a 99. All right. So that's how that works. But as you can see, as I upgrade his attributes, his overall changes here. So it is working. But if we go to player miscellaneous, hold on one second, guys. Go to player miscellaneous. That's where we can change um, his cyber face. So I'm just going to change him to LeBron cyber face. 10, 13. And then when I go in here, now his picture will stay the same. But when I go here, should load up. Yeah, he's LeBron. Now... Oh, man, I forgot. I was messing around with jerseys, so I'm not going to show you the body because this jersey is actually kind of glitched. So let me just back out. But, yeah, that that portion that says face number is what changes the the cyber face. And... All right. And I forget which photo this changes, but this changes one of the photos. Maybe it's the full body photo. This right here where it says birth year is responsible for changing his age. So he's age 22. If I change the year, see, I changed it to 1998 and now he's 20. Also, this manipulates that year of retirement manipulates the age for legends because like You'll have a legend that was born in, let's say, 1960. So in real life, he's 88. But if you put the retirement age or let's just say we'll put 1980, then it changes him to 19 years old. All right. Depending 19 or 20, depending on what month he's born. So it, it allows you to put the age of a of real well I'm sorry allows you to put the birth date birth year of real legends 
And then you just want to, in the year of retirement, you just put the year that you want to see them in. So you just basically like add on 20 years to the birth year if you want them to be 20. Or it just depends on what month they're born. All right. Okay, so um, I think I've shown you guys the basics at this point. Now, there are some options down here, and I've done videos on switching faces for your my player. Now, I am using the latest patch, and everything is working great. So, this is the latest version of the game as of 11, uh, November 9th. So, everything's working good. And then this custom list is actually how you copy your roster. So if I if I was in my league and I click this and then exit in my league, it will just copy my my league roster to play now. That's all that does. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. Uh, unlock hidden game options. That's when I click that. Let me move this out the way and then back out of this roster. Actually, I'm, I'm going to stay on roster. So, what it does is, well, not here. It's not doing anything. Okay. Huh. Or is it doing something? <laughs> I don't know. When I unclick it, let's see if the options change. I thought there were more options. Okay, so... For the latest version of the game, that that seems to be disabled. Let's see, exit without saving. Hmm. Okay, so some things have changed in the latest version of the game. So I don't think these two options will work. Um, but know for sure that you can still change your face and you can still change your attributes as long as you can get into the player menu now if you're playing with the older patch older version of the game then you can indeed get the unlock in-game editor and unlock hidden game options to show up and i do have an older video i wanted to make this video because my tone in my first in the original limnano trainer video was kind of annoying you know it seems like i was kind of barking orders at people All right, so yeah, this latest patch, the latest patch of the game does disable uh, these two options. You can click them, but they won't work. So, so I'm guessing that 2K definitely knows about the tool or maybe just the addresses for those options have changed. But if you use an older patch, uh, the tool should work 100% correctly. All right, guys, this has been, this has been a little tutorial for Lenono Trainer NBA 2K20. Uh, I hope this helped you guys and I hope it helps you accomplish whatever you need to accomplish. Um, again, if you're playing with like patch 1.5, you should be able to um, use all the options on the Nono Trainer without an issue. But if you're using the latest patch, which I think we're on patch 7 now, uh, some of the options might not be available, even if you click them. All right, guys, this has been fun. Till next time, I'm gone.